Happy Thanksgiving, everyone! Who's ready for turkey? Thanksgiving is a holiday that we celebrate every year with a turkey. Um, we would normally stuff the turkey with vegetables like celery and onions to give it some extra flavor. I've learned that we need to keep the breast um, a bit moist by putting bacon on top. So that's what we're going to do. But first, we need to season the bird. So let's add some salt. Is it even on? <laughs> Oregano. Black pepper. Let's add some bacon to it to give it flavor and also for us to munch on when the bird is resting. The bacon is on top of the turkey breast area. Now it's time to stuff the bird. I should have put it in first, but I got too enthusiastic. So let's put some onions in. So I need to fill the pan with water so that it can help with uh, cooking in the oven because it will naturally dry out somewhat. A few cup worth of water. This will also act as gravy for the, for the turkey which is important. I have preheated the oven for 200 degrees and we will put it in for about two hours. I'm not going to put foil on top because I find that it takes too long to cook and, the, and our oven isn't that great. So let's put it in, shall we? Now that the bird's in the oven, it is time to make some of the sides, such as mashed potatoes, stuffing, and some seasonal vegetables to go with it. So now, let's start making the stuffing. We have pork mince, breadcrumbs, an egg that hasn't been beaten yet, apples, pepper, seasoning. I'm also going to put... Um, some cinnamon and some sage into it. Stuffing is really important. I always, I always liked having stuffing. Stuffing is an important part of any Thanksgiving, especially in my family. We would rotate from our extended families from like house to house and each family would take part in hosting in any given year. My recipe will call for pork mince, apples, and all this other lovely ingredients. I don't think my family would normally put apples in it, but I do think that it does bring out a, a different flavor to the pork and it kind of adds something to the character of the, of the dish. It will always be like a stressful time hosting Thanksgiving. It would be like, okay, when is the food ready? Oh, someone's always hungry. Someone's always nagging. It would be like a bit of a, of a, it would be a bit of chaos. And I remember a bit of fighting, <laughs> kind of like, Christmas over here, where there would be like screamings, there would be um, 
things about, okay, who is doing this? Why aren't you cooking more? Oh, why is this, this person being so lazy? So it's very much like Christmas is over here. But it does bring the family together, which is what the, the holiday is about. Thanksgiving has been passed on from generation to generation and I do still take part in some of these traditions even though I don't live in the States anymore but it's something worth celebrating. It's a food holiday. Um, I normally make too much food which isn't necessarily a bad thing because that would mean that there's plenty of leftovers. So I think this is enough apples to go into the stuffing. I've put in um, two apples so far. I haven't added any seasoning yet. So let's do that. Let's add a, a touch of cinnamon to, to accentuate the apples. Let's add some sage to this because I think Marcus likes to have sage with some of his um, stuffing. Let's add some black pepper. I made these breadcrumbs ahead of time and I think I had way too much so I froze them and then I just defrosted it and now I'm adding it to this dish so let's whisk this egg going back to Thanksgiving Thanksgiving would normally start really early in the morning like around 10 o'clock or so and there would be a lot of prep time lots of um chopping so it is something so it is a celebration that does take a lot of planning so i am gently folding all of this stuff together. I'm just adding a little bit more flavor to this just in case it needs it. And then we will stick it into the oven and hopefully this will all coincide with when the turkey is ready. Two hundred degrees Celsius for one hour. If it needs more time, then we'll do that. This is a tradition of mine. I always have a, I always have a glass of wine while I do the prep work for turkey dinner, Thanksgiving dinner. So tonight we have a French wine, Maison du Hard Malbec. Or I have a Spanish wine, Valpenenas. Which one is better? I think I will go for the Spanish one. I haven't had this one for, I've never had it, but I like the sound of this one better. So let's get cracking. I don't have one of those wine bottle opener things. I think I should get one, one of those electric ones. Hint, hint for anyone that wants to buy me a Christmas present. But I do have one of these things. This is an aerator. I remember getting that um, in Chicago when we were coming back 
one year. Um, so that was quite good. And it basically aerates the wine for you. So it's basically like when you want to decant wine. So this is like half a bottle of wine, I guess, or thereabouts. So. So let's give myself like a generous amount. Okay, I think that that's generous enough. Cheers guys. I'm not even going to bother corking it because I'm going to finish it later. Oh. Okay, so let's chop some of these potatoes for the mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes, especially when it's Thanksgiving. This is something that I always have on Thanksgiving. So it doesn't really matter how big you want it, but I think it should be small enough so that it would um, cook evenly. Okay, I have chopped up the potatoes into equivalent and equal sizes. I'm going to add some boiled water and I will be making some mashed potatoes. I will also be sharing how to make it nice and creamy because I did learn this along the way. I will tell you more about that later, but we need to get this going. Also one of the staples is carrots and parsnips. So we're using one of these jars of honey that we got from Ready Steady Cook. It's a Scottish honey and Wow, it smells authentically Scottish and it has heather in it. So this is specialized. So it's very, it's, it is quite thick and it's quite, um, I like the color. Um, so I don't think I need to use that much to be honest. Um, so just put like a little amount and uh, a little goes a long way. Maybe I will add a bit of um, olive oil to this as well. So it looks like the mashed potato is fairly cooked now and it looks like it's all mushed up. Um, I need to pound this together, but I'm going to turn off the heat now. So a person from work told me to Beat an egg and then put it into the mashed potatoes. Then it will make it rather creamy. But I think, but I think that I need to let the mashed potato cool down a little bit before I add this. Otherwise, it might curdle. So. Why don't we mash the potatoes? I am preparing Brussels sprouts and in the pan right now I have some bacon. I will add the chopped Brussels sprouts to it once the bacon has cooked somewhat. Now it's time to add the eggs to the mashed potatoes. I think I might also need to add a little bit of milk to it. This is how I make gravy. So I use the offal from the turkey. And then this will serve as a good um, gravy for the turkey. Look, the turkey's done. It's been two hours. So I would need to pour this stock into this pan, boil it up, and then the magic will happen. 
I love making gravy from the juice from the turkey. So all that lovely goodness is in the pan with some of that other awful bits and it, it will make such a really delicious gravy. The holiday of Thanksgiving started when the pilgrims landed in the New World. They made it through their first year with the help of Native Americans. It was their way of saying thanks. It was also the end of the harvest season. When Paul was living in the US, he would have an extended family Thanksgiving. Each person would bring a dish made at home. Turkey is typically served baked honey ham, roast beef, gammon joints and whole rotisserie chicken are also favourites, traditionally dished up with mashed potatoes and gravy. Other elements include sweet potatoes and corn on the cob. On TV there is the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade on New York's 5th Avenue. There are floats with characters such as Scooby-Doo or the Peanuts crew from Charlie Brown. The day after Thanksgiving is known as Black Friday. Shops offer huge discounts and people queue for hours to grab a bargain. It's also when the planning of Christmas officially begins. The pilgrims came across the sea and never thought of you and me. And yet it's very strange the way we think of them Thanksgiving Day. We tell their story, old and true, of how they sailed across the blue and found a new land to be free and built their homes quite near the sea. Every child knows well the tale of how they bravely turned the sail, and journeyed many a day and night to worship God as they thought right. Thank you for watching the show. If you like what you see, then please subscribe. I mean, seriously, please subscribe. I think I'm hungry now. I think so. Wow, this took long enough. <laughs> I am all in a sweat now. And what have I been doing? I've just been lounging around while Paul's done all the work. And I'm treating myself to a beer because I've had such a busy day. I'm having a Blue Moon Belgian White, Belgian style wheat ale. And I've had this in the States before. Um, I can remember when we went to Florida um, a few years ago, your cousin was very excited about um, bringing a few bottles of Blue Moon along to the party. So it only seems um, fitting that we have it for Thanksgiving. And true and true to form, I finished this bottle. Well, in that case, you, you better start eating to sort of mop up all, all the liquid. I can't wait to tuck into this jerky. What do you think? Well, it looks fantastic. And I've been waiting to eat all day. So let's see. Oh, mm. well. Delicious. We forgot the cranberry. We don't have any. Too late now. <laughs> Anyway, cranberry's more for Christmas, I think. Mmm. No. Yeah. Let's try some of the stuffing. And see what that tastes like. Mm. And with the apple, you get one of your five a day as well. Do you like my homemade stuffing? Mm-hmm. Oh, lovely. 
I have to fight a little bit of the mashed potato. Isn't that a song you do? The mashed potato. Na, 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 na. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of mashed potato, but I just like Look at the parsnips. Mmm. That's lovely. Let's try a little bit of the parsnip. Excuse all the food falling out of my mouth. I can taste the honey. Mmm. And a carrot. Isn't the honey divine? Mmm. You can really taste the heather in there. Um, and finally, this is a great way. If you're not a fan of Brussels sprouts, but you feel as though you need to have them at Thanksgiving or Christmas for that matter, cut them up finely, fry them up with some bacon like Paul has done, and you would hardly know you're even eating them. You're getting one of your greens. Mmm, that is lovely. Alright, oh, we'll say cheers. Oh my gosh. It's been such a it has been such a joy hosting you all. You are invited next time. But until then, cheers. And bye for now. Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! Bye! Bye! Mmm. Well I think we need to eat more turkey to mop up all this alcohol. Isn't that gonna get you sleepy? Well it is nearly bedtime. Take it all day to cook this. <laughs>